Oh, her story adds up. What's okay? Hold it. Was it really only those two who went in? Ah! What are you blabbering about? You were there too, were you not? Uh. Why don't you answer that yourself? Was it really the two of them? Yes. Dr. Gray and Mayo were the only two who went into the room. Hold it! We can't have the defense testify against its own client. Anyway, folks, only the two of them went into the channeling chamber, you hear? But you knew that from the very beginning, didn't you? Witness, continue. Hold it! Was it really a gunshot? Ah! Uh, are you insane? You must have heard it as well! Ugh. Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes, I think it was something that sounded like a gunshot. And why were you listening to the defense testify? And the world becomes a little crueler. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know. And I tell you, that was a gunshot I heard. Now, this, this is where the story heats up. Hold it! So, let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down? Honestly, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why don't you just tell us what happened then? Um, yes, Miss Von Karma, I broke the door down. Sorry. Why does this feel like an inqu inquisition? No need for apologizing, that was great. You're a real man. Oh, really? That's something I would have liked to see. The judge is smiling rather openly. I'll take that as a good sign. Ugh, I just thought there's nothing wrong with her testimony. I was with her, so I just got to tell the truth. Enough! Seems that there are no issues with Mrs. Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Fay. Hmm. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant. What am I going to do if I just let this go? What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. If I make one wrong move, I'm going to have the judge against me. Is there anything I can present that would prove it's not Maya Faye's photo? Now, this is where it gets weird. Every instance of Phoenix Wright has been to present something at this juncture. Except for, I think, one other case. But this time, we can't present anything. Well, Mr. Wright? Nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not Maya Fey. I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. That's enough! Is this it? Is this all I could do? I think it is quite obvious to this court that the verdict of not guilty is not possible. I told you. I told you totally 100% impossible. Miss Von Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? Having established the defendant's guilt, further questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No further questions, I presume? I... I couldn't protect Maya. The defense... The defense... Phoenix! Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. Mamai! What? I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? You, you, but... Pearls? Her clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go! But, but how? She's already taken away every advantage. The advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully, one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? Dr. Gray! I was murdered. What? Cl There's a second click. Lotta, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots! You see, there is one final piece to the puzzle. My? Question, Lotta, one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it subconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. Now then, this court would like to end the cross-examination period. Please wait, Your Honor. 
The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any unrelated- Ah! It's fine. I'll allow another testimony. A Von Karma case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time than this for you to see that? But what? I mean, I have some place I must go after- Ah! All right. I'll allow it. Miss Hart! Hurry and give us another testimony. Well, heck. What am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more about what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See? You got through to the judge somehow, right? Well, actually it was Von Karma's whip that got through to him. <clears throat> Thank God she's... like your normal villain. When we broke into the room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was, uh, kinda scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera at May and take a shot. Hmm. Nothing sounds different from before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press her on those sections. Struggle all you like as the taste of bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. Ooh. You are really scary, but oddly attracting. attractive. Hmm. Hold it! So, what did it look like? You know, she looked like almost like a different person. A different person? She may have seemed like a different person. However, she was still Maya Fey. We have already made the point abruptly clear. Yes, that is true. Well then, Miss Hart, did you happen to see anything else? I was, a. Uh... Hold it! Then perhaps the body was not Dr. Craze at all. Eh? Well, well, I'll reckon that's possible. If the body inside that room was not Dr. Gray, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Well, what if it was that of Maya Faye? After the channeling. Or maybe... Ow! Foolish fool spouting foolish foolishness, just as I expected of a foolish fool such as you. If that were the case, then that would mean that Maya Fey is in fact dead. And that would make the defendant's chair quite a lonely place, wouldn't it? Uh, sorry, Maya. Are you all done here? Can I continue? Hold it! And even knowing that, you still persist in being a paranormal photographer? That's why I'm getting out of this here business. This gal's gonna get the dirt on the stars and be a tabloid photographer from now on. She goes through jobs faster than a baby through diapers. Ow! Mr. Phoenix Wright, would it kill you to stay on topic for a change? Well, would it, Mr. Wright? Nice tag team in stereo. Guess I should be grateful it's not a 5.1. Hold it! Two, right? To two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Miss Hart, where is the other picture you have been withholding? No, no, no! You got it all wrong! It's not me! I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown the other picture to this court yet? Well, I ain't it obvious. The prosecution woman told me to shut my trap about it. What? V Von Karma! Miss Von Karma! You're, you're hiding critical evidence! Unforgivable, Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this. You're as bad as your father. Hmm. Your Honor, the defense take asked that the prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court. 
Hmm, well, yes! Ugh! Me in contempt of court? You can't be serious. But, but you hid evidence from the court on purpose. That's, that's, that's not fair. Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? Ack, I was so angry I lost my composure. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important, and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. How could you think? The pictures were more or less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. More than... more trouble than it's worth? How... how can you say that? If you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. Hmm.